The introduction of elephants into Baurong Game Reserve is one of the significant a milestone that this game reserve has ever seen. They've never been seen in this area in a very, very long time. And for them, coming from Manyoni into our land, it is a huge, huge, huge achievement. They've been a fantastic herd for Manyoni, a very settled herd, a very calm herd, which is incredibly habituated to vehicles. So for our tourism model, that's exactly what we need. Bavanango is an extremely transformed landscape, so we've lost that balance and that equilibrium that uh, Mother Nature really needs. So having a mega herbivore come in like this and be able to sort out some of that bush encroachment for us, it really is a significant part of what, what we need right now. Well, it's an incredibly exciting day for us. Uh, it's a day we've been waiting for for about four and a half years now. We're at Manyoni Game Reserve about to capture, hopefully capture seven elephants to take back up to Babananga Game Reserve. So there's quite an entourage of people here. We've got trucks, we've got game capture team, we've got vets, we've got marketing team. And hopefully the chopper can find us these elephants and then we're going to put some elephants onto a truck and send them four and a half hours up to Babananga Game Reserve. So that's the plan. They're absolutely incredible animals. There's some sort of connection we humans seem to have with elephants. I mean, there's a sixth sense about those animals. There's some sort of a emotional um, aptitude about them that we as humans obviously can pick up and there's a significance about them in the bush. You become a global player all of a sudden when you've got big five. So for us as a game reserve, at times we thought this would never happen, but here we are. Yeah, it's going well. I mean, it was a bit of a shaky start this morning, but these guys are so professional. They know exactly what they're doing. It's a privilege to watch. It's such a big thing because it's going to attract tourism. It's going to uh, get more people employed into this big game reserve. And then school look, which means creating job opportunities for our local people. Uh, yeah, it means such a lot uh, to me and I like elephants just by that. There have not been elephants in Babanango for at least 150 years and this is basically history in the making. We are rewilding, reversing extinction and opening new habitat for a really key species so uh, a great day for all of us and yeah hopefully positive things to come for the future We are so proud and very much happy to be welcoming these beautiful uh, elephants into our land. Waiting at the gate, you know what, I was always looking at down the road to see if I can see the truck coming. I was waiting for that moment uh, to come, for the elephant to step in to the game reserve for the very first time. When they arrived, yes, it was very late at night. When they made that sound inside the truck, the trumpeting, 
I had goosebumps uh, in my uh, in my body because of hearing that. I think the release was very very nice because they walked off and then they made such a beautiful noise when they went out you know I was so excited and anyway, I'm also happy for the people of the land I'm happy for the communities that own the land I'm happy for everyone that is involved it's a milestone and we've been waiting for this day to come and last night was one of those days that will never be forgotten that I will never forget even myself it is a huge achievement in terms of the tourism. It's a huge achievement also in the land of the kings. They are in a beautiful place today. And I know that at the moment they're still trying to find out where they are. They'll be walking along the game reserve, trying to habituate themselves, find a nice area. But yes, we are here at Babanango. They will enjoy it. They are home away from the other home.